In this video, let's see how to set up JBoss tools so that we can see additional servers in the list of servers over here. For example, if I click on this link here, I will be able to see some of the servers. However, I don't see servers from JBoss. I see over here a few things, but that's basically tools, not actually server plugins. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to help menu, Eclipse Marketplace, search in the marketplace for available additional tools. And the one that we are looking for is JBoss tools. So I'm going to type here JBoss tools, press enter. Depending on the speed of the internet, this will take some time. And the one that we are looking for to install is JBoss tools 4.15.0 final. I'll click on install. And here are many features that are available as part of JBoss tools. I'll leave the selection to the defaults, which is nothing but all the tools. I'm going to click on confirm. You have to agree to the terms of license agreement. Click finish. And this is going to take some time. And once the installation is done, you should be able to see new servers that includes JBoss application server as well as Wildfly. In between, if you get this warning, you can say install anyway. And finally, it is done. It's asking restart Eclipse IDE to apply the software update. Of course, we want to do that. Now that our Eclipse is restarted, we have the JBoss tools ready. Let's close this view and click on this link. And you should now see many more servers that can be added via the JBoss community plugin over here. You can see that there is support for JBoss application server starting from version 3.2 up to 7.1. And uh, an open source community edition of the JBoss server is available in the form of Wildfly. And the support is up to Wildfly 19. At this point in time, the current version of Wildfly is 20. However, as of now, we can only integrate our Eclipse with Wildfly 19. Let's click the cancel button, download Wildfly and then set up the server and see if we can control the same thing from here. To download Wildfly, go to Google and then look for Wildfly download. And if you scroll down over here, you can see that there is wildfly.org slash downloads. Let's go over there. And the current version is 20, but we saw that plugin that we installed with Eclipse only supports still version 19. So let's scroll down. There is 19.1.0 final, and there is a zip file. Let's click on this to download. I'm gonna keep on my desktop. The download is ready. Let's open the same thing in Finder. Double click the same thing to unzip. Back in Eclipse, click on this link, select Wildfly 19, click on next. You can say the server is local or remote. Since it is on our own computer, we select local and controlled by file system and shell operations or management operations. So this would be the JMX operation. So we don't want to use this. The defaults are okay here. Click on next. There's a label that appears in this view here. And the home directory is what we need to point to, which we have it on our desktop. So I click on the browse. On desktop, I have the Wildfly 19. Let's click on open. If the folder was wrong, there would have been an error over here. So since everything is okay, no problem. It says here execution environment Java SC 1.8. And I have Java SC 14 as well as 11. I would like to keep it to 11. Although I can go up to Java SC 13, I'm going to stick with Java SC 11. And here is the server configuration details you can give. Leave it to the default. Click the next button. Here you can select any projects that are currently available on your Eclipse so that it can run on the JBoss after installation. We don't have any project. As you can see, it's all brand new workspace here. I just have to click finish. Now you can see that there is an entry for the Wildfly server. All you have to do is to click on this. And if you full screen the console, you can read the logs. So the server is up and running. You can open a browser now. And I can visit here localhost 8080. And I should see Wildfly homepage. As well as if I visit 
9990 press enter it will take me to the administration page however we are welcomed with an error because we haven't created any users yet to create a user you have to open a terminal and run the add user.sh it will ask you a few details you enter that then the user gets created once you create the user you can come back and then click on try again here on a new terminal i will cd into desktop and in desktop i have the wildfly dash 19.1.0. final inside that there is a directory called bin here i have a file called add user.sh to run the same i can type sh add user.sh press enter on windows you may have to run the add user.bat you can just double click the file or you can come to a new command prompt and type in the command add user.bat so the first question is what type of user would you like to add management user or application user i want to create a management user so that i can manage new users and new deployments application users have access to only the applications so i'm going to select a or you can just press enter a is already selected so the second question is the name of the user to be created the user admin already exists and has been disabled you can create in a new user i'm going to create a user with the name of vinod and then it is asking for a password i'm going to enter welcome hash 123 re enter the same thing you can just leave it blank for the groups and there is a final confirmation about to add user we know to the realm management realm is it correct i'll say yes press enter so a couple of more questions is this new user going to be used for one application server process to connect to another application server process i don't have to really give anything i can simply type no and press enter and i believe the user creation is done back in the chrome i click on this link here to try again and it's asking me to enter the username password we created username as vinod password as welcome hash 123 press enter and now we are inside the management console so that's all for this video see you in the next one